Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cletus, and today I'm bringing you an absolutely special video. I haven't really put Overwatch much on this channel, but since they released Doomfist for Overwatch, he has been my favorite character to play with. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the things I do like, some of the things I don't like, and some of the things that I use to get advantage over the other players while playing with Doomfist. Let's get right to the video. She would want to turn her back on me. So right off the bat, we're just going to start off with some things that I love about Doomfist. Like I said, Doomfist is the excellent flanker, the, the most excellent flanker in the whole game. If you can get behind a couple of squishy low enemies and work your way through the, the back of their push... Doomfist is absolutely beautiful. He's also absolutely beautiful for the ganks. If you can get a good gank in, whether like Tracer is coming through a doorway, you can wait for Tracer or Junkrat or another Doomfist or Hanzo or anybody that's coming through a doorway, um, except unless they're a tank. Like, I can't get some of the tanks with this strategy, but you just wait for them to come through the doorway chasing you and just bam, straight through the wall. Perfect ganker is Doomfist. With that extra ability that uh, makes him stronger if you uh, punch them into a wall, that is probably one of the best things because just waiting for them to come through the doorway and like smacking them into the wall is probably one of the most, I want to say one of the most satisfying feelings in Overwatch is just smacking a fucking Tracer or Sombra right into the wall because nobody fucking likes them anyways. Another thing that I absolutely love about Doomfist is his ability to really take on tanks head on. He doesn't have to find a flank or get behind tanks. He can take Roadhog or um, Zarya or any of the tanks dead on. All you have to do is fit in some combos and tanks are done. Um, there's a lot of combos involving uh, different abilities starting off and mixing on his primary fire, his shotgun. Uh, his shotgun arm i guess you could call it but uh there's a lot of combos involving doomfist i will be doing a video on uh different doomfist combos as well but like i said that's another thing um, doomfist himself isn't tanky but he's a very very high dps which allows him to really take on tanks and pretty much the whole battlefield all uh they really need to do is buff his health but that's what we're uh, about to talk about right now all right so like i said doomfist his health doomfist health is very very low for his dps ability i feel like either the amount of shield doomfist gets per damage he deals needs to be amped up higher that needs to be patched or um, his health in general just needs to be buffed. He needs to go from uh, like 250 to like 400 or 500 health. If he had that much health, I think uh, even 350, just give him 100 extra health. Um, I feel like if he had that extra health, Doomfist would be almost uh, unstoppable. Not to the point where like he would be too OP, but I feel like Doomfist needs to be able to handle his 1v1s and 1v2s just a little bit better, and I feel like if I have, um, if I'm fighting a tank and Genji, or if I'm fighting a tank and McCree comes along, uh, another person who is very, very high DPS like Doomfist, I feel like Doomfist doesn't stand a chance, and I don't like that. Um, either his shields need to come up, or like the amount of shields per amount of damage needs to come up. Something needs to get buffed in order for Doomfist to be an absolute monster on the field. Another thing that I feel got buffed heavily um, after the public beta, um, or the closed beta that happened with Doomfist, some people got to try uh, Doomfist, the community playthrough with him, and during that his shotgun arm his primary fire was absolutely insane you could snipe somebody with that that's how concentrated and how good it is and now i feel like since the release of doom for this they've nerfed him to where it's more spread out and it does less damage over time and i feel like or over like length of area and i feel like they need to go back to how it was doomfist shotgun arm um either needs to have a quicker regen a higher rate of fire or um more damage put out because if you up 
uh, like upgrade the DPS for Doomfist uh, primary fire, I feel like that should help with some of his health. He just needs more in between time. Once he burns all of his abilities, his primary fire isn't enough to ward off enemies. Now, if you give him more damage in his primary fire, I feel as if he will have uh, an ability to hold off and ward off enemies uh, more than he does now in my opinion now he doesn't have after he burns all his abilities he doesn't really have that um that standpoint he's just a sitting duck and that right there needs to be after he burns all his abilities he really needs uh either quicker times for his cooldowns or a, a better primary fire and that's just my opinion in general because i don't know i feel like doomfist needs to be able to hold off enemies after he burns all his abilities so that way he can you know wait for his cooldown and then go back in to burn all his abilities again i think a faster cooldown isn't fair because his stuff is already fast i feel like a higher primary fire should be able to take care of that no problem in conclusion i think doomfist is an absolute beast a monster a demon on the field his ab ability to flank ability to gank and ability to crush uh, tanks and other dps enemies is absolutely insane in this video i'm sure you've seen several times where i had the ability to wait for enemies to come my way punch them in a wall to attack head on with tanks and other enemies and to just be an overall monster on the field of play i think doomfist with the buffs that i said um, if they implemented those doomfist would be unstoppable in the right hands um, Doomfist overall is a character that is very, very hard to master, easy to play, hard to master. If you want to just play him for fun and get the ganks and get the flanks and don't really take anybody head on, absolutely, go for it. But I feel like Doomfist is very, very, very hard to master. But once you master him, I feel like Doomfist will be unstoppable in the right hands. I, for one, feel like I am unstoppable every time I use Doomfist. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you leave a fat like on this video. Comment, subscribe, show me support. That support is absolutely what I need in my life. And you, your positive energy that you give me uh, through every video. I see the likes, I see the comments, I see all the views. And you guys are really, really showing me love. And I absolutely enjoy that. It makes me want to do videos every single day. I just don't have the time to do them every day. But I'm, I'm going to be try to try to be more consistent on my videos. Um, and try to really work out a, a decent schedule. Um, like I said in that in my last vlog with Matt, something is happening on the 20th through the 26th between me and Matt. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be amazing on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see what that is. My name is Cletus 777, and thank you guys so much for coming on to the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. We're act like this. She wouldn't wanna turn.